Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time welcome to vlogmas. This is not how I normally start off my videos if you're new here. I'm normally a little bit more put together and a little bit more set up but I thought today we could just you know get the camera out have a bit of a chat and basically sort out my life. <laughs> it's not it's not that serious I'm being playful but basically I finished work at five which is like 40 minutes ago and I was like I need to get ready I need to film I need to get today's video prepared so I started doing my makeup and I did my foundation three times and it just wasn't working my skin is not having it it is playing up which I can talk about in a minute because I did something stupid <laughs> um and I was like you just need to take this off you just need to give your face a break and you just need to sort your life out so I thought in today's video we could have a bit of a chat a bit of a face mask and sort out my room because my room hmm it's a little bit ugh, at the moment it's stressing me out there is stuff everywhere I do everything in this room this is where I do my nine to five this is where I do my filming this is where all my clothes are all my makeup is this is where the majority of my life happens and it's a bit of a mess and it's stressing me out and I've been quite tired the past two weeks I'd say and I feel like with me being a bit tired and me being super super busy with vlogmas I've just let this room fall apart and I just don't feel productive in here I just don't feel inspired in here I just want to sort it out it's getting to that point of the year where I'm I'm ready for a Christmas break like I've had my new job since the beginning of July and I've not really had much of a break since then in my work work or in YouTube I've been so busy with uploading quite a lot um which is amazing and I'm not complaining because I love it all but I've just not really had you know like a solid break which I am doing over Christmas which is going to be wonderful but I'm just like I'm ready for the Christmas break I'm a bit tired well I'm quite tired I'm not sleeping the best and I feel like I'm just a bit like sensitive at the minute like the tiniest thing can like push me over the edge and I know that when I'm like that it's mostly because I'm tired because there's nothing that's happened there's nothing to worry about it's not that deep nothing has happened I think I'm just tired and I think that's reflected in my room I've just let this get a little bit hectic so <laughs> I thought that first of all we can pop on this sheet mask and give it a go and then we can do a bit of tidying together if you guys are with me then it'll make me do it is what I'm telling myself and we can just have a bit of a chat like I don't do these more vlog style videos very often but I really want to do more but it's hard because my boyfriend's high risk so we are shielding so I can't go and do things which I think would be more interesting for you to watch so in the new year whenever the vaccines happen for us I will be out and about documenting whatever fun I get up to um so the vlogs will definitely be returning next year but you'll have to let me know if you enjoy this style video I know some people only want to see the fashion videos but I mean I'm going to talk about that as well because I want to do more than that and I definitely want to do more vlogging so you'll have to let me know what you think of that but yes let's put this sheet mask on and then we can try and sort out this room. So my skin I don't know how well you can see because um I've not set up my lights because this is meant to be more relaxed <laughs> but I did something silly I decided to try at home dermaplaning and I can just hear people in the comments being like you're silly you're silly <laughs> if you don't know what dermaplaning is it's something that you probably should get done at like an esthetician a skin doctor person <laughs> but it's basically like face shaving and it's meant to remove like all the like fuzz and hair on your face but also like all the dead skin on your face and I think I went in a bit too hard and I did that a couple of days ago and my skin was so sore afterwards it went so red I put some like skincare on in the night and it was burning and my skin has been like really flaky and dry ever since it's not been good <laughs> and I also it seems to be having a bit of a breakout at the moment I go through stages where my skin's okay and where it's not I'm starting to think it might be like a hormonal thing but yeah all these things combined my foundation was not having it so I'm gonna try this mask that I've got from Glam Girl Glam 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 glow it's the glow lace radiance boosting hydration sheet mask and it's going to hydrate energize and rate and give my skin radiance which is kind of 
everything that I think it needs right now. And also it looks super cool. It's this like lace pattern. It's got hyaluronic acid, green tea and caffeine in. So let's pop this on and see how it feels. It comes in two pieces, which is good because there's nothing I hate more than a sheet mask that is saggy and too big for your skin. And you can just feel it like, <laughs> so let's give this a go. Ooh, ooh, it's a very... <laughs> <laughs> it's very moist just popped my mirror on so I can see what I'm doing is this the top piece or the bottom piece I have no idea oh it's dripping oh I think this is the top piece this is gonna look like a superhero mask when I've just got <laughs> the top piece on oh, oh I nearly dropped it come on It's so cold. There's so much liquid on this mask. <laughs> so this is the top half. It's not the best fitting mask I've ever had, but it's not the worst. The material the, um, is a little bit thicker than some of the face masks. Not too thick, but a little bit thicker. Um, so it feels like it might just slip down my face with how much moist, like liquid is in here. So I'll pop the bottom half on. I just don't want to waste any of the, the serum. <laughs> I hate this bit as well. I'm always scared I'm gonna like rip them when I'm trying to unfold them. That was easier. Oh, I didn't think this through. It's not very easy to talk when you've got a sheet mask on. Well done, Trina. Ta-da! So this is the sheet mask on. It is slipping and sliding as I try and talk. So maybe I'll do a little bit of tidying whilst this is on. I'll put like a little time lapse on for you. Yeah, look, it's slipping and sliding so much. <laughs> and then we can have a bit of a chat once I've had this on. I've got to keep this on for 15 minutes and then we'll have a bit of a chat. <laughs> Hopefully this is an okay angle for you, but I need to start by putting away all the makeup from yesterday's video. My room is just full of boxes of makeup for videos and things that I want to film. I am not enjoying this mask. <laughs> so I'm going to start by popping all this makeup away. See, I'm getting fed up already. I hate tidying, <laughs> but you guys are there. So I'm gonna continue, but this sheet mask is doing my head in. How long have I had it on? Five, six minutes. <sighs> Desk is done. I'm gonna take this stupid sheet mask off because I've not been enjoying it. So that's better. My skin does feel really nice and hydrated and it feels like all the serum is really sinking into my skin. It feels maybe a little bit plumping but honestly I really really hate it when sheet masks don't like fit your face well and just stay where they are. Like I can't, I've been known to take them off within 30 seconds if I don't like the way they feel so. <laughs> And that one was not it, but my desk is sorted. It might still be a bit cluttered for some people, but I've got my work set up. I've got my laptop, I've got my to-do list. I've got all my brushes and pens and things behind my new mirror. I've got everything I need. Yeah, happy with the desk. Before we move on to the next part, I just wanted to sit down and have a little bit of a chat and kind of say thank you because I put up a video at the weekend where I did a say it or shot it challenge and it was a little bit of a change in direction for me and my content and so many of you were so nice and so supportive so I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who left me a lovely comment on that video. It honestly means so much and I really appreciate it but I also want to address the fact that some people weren't too happy with the content um, and I want to talk a little bit about that because I kind of should have seen it coming a little bit because so if you haven't seen that video I answer some quite personal questions and talk about some things that I haven't really spoken about on this channel and some people were shocked 
that I was talking about those things when I don't normally talk about them before. And the first thing I want to address is that I didn't say anything in that video that I didn't want to say. A lot of people were concerned that people had asked questions that I shouldn't have felt pressured to answer. And I didn't answer anything I didn't want to answer. The nature of Say It or Shot It is some of the questions make you a bit, a little bit like, oh, oh, am I going to answer that? Am I not? It's a little bit more risque. But I didn't answer anything I didn't want to. And I edited that video. So I chose everything that was in that video to be in that video. So there's nothing in that video that I didn't want to share. So thank you for your concern. I really appreciate it. I really do love how much you care. But I was happy with what was in that video. I didn't feel pressured. Part of the game is that like asking those questions that you wouldn't normally answer and like it's just it's a bit of a playful game and that's kind of the nature of it that you do get asked some questions that you wouldn't normally talk about so that's the first thing I wanted to address that I didn't say anything that I'm not happy with putting out there in the world. The other thing I want to talk about is the fact that some people thought that some of the topics I talked about weren't um I don't know if appropriate is the right word, but we're a bit of a change from the normal content you expect to see from me. And I accept that because it was probably a bit of a drastic change. I didn't sort of <laughs> ease you in with talking about those personal things. It was just all of a sudden, here's my personal information, here's my personal life. So that's probably my fault and I'm sorry for not like easing into that and maybe transitioning, but it's not gonna go away. I'm not saying I'm gonna sit here and talk about like really personal things all the time, but I am really gonna try and share more of me and my life on this channel because I don't wanna be just the girl that tries on clothes. That's not what I want this channel to be. It will <laughs> always be a channel that is heavily about plus size fashion. That is not gonna go away. But what you are gonna see more of is me and my personality and my opinions and my life and my stories because for the sustainability of the channel and for me being able to keep going, I need to make this channel more than just about trying on clothes. It needs to be more, and I think I've got things to say and I think I've got things to share and I think there's value in some of what I've got to say. Some of it's gobbledygook. <laughs> but I think there's a lot of value in some of the things that I want to talk about. And I don't, I don't want to just continue trying on clothes and that's all I do. I want to start doing more. I'm building a platform here. It's not the biggest platform, but there are quite a few of you out there. And I feel like... I can do more with this platform. There's more that I can do and show and talk about. And I really hope that you wanna see that and that you're gonna stick around and that you're gonna enjoy it. This is the direction I'm going in because there's only so many clothes that someone can own. <laughs> there's only so many clothes that someone can try. And I'm itching to do more. I'm itching to get out there and start vlogging and showing you my life and showing you my world and talking with you and, you know, just letting you in a little bit more. I'm really, really excited to do that. So, <laughs> this big ramble is basically to say thank you so much for all the support and the love that I got. Thank you for the concern that I got, but there's no reason to be concerned. And for those who don't want to see that kind of content, I'm sorry that it was a bit of a shock and a drastic change in direction. I could have maybe warned you of the content in in the beginning of the video that's something that I can take on board and definitely learn to let you know at the start that this is probably going to get personal but that this is going to stay this me like talking about my life and sharing my opinions and doing more than just fashion is going to stick around I hope that makes sense <laughs> I, I, I really enjoyed doing it. It was so much fun. And also at the end of the day, it was a bit of a laugh. It wasn't meant to be that serious. It was meant to be a little bit of fun. So I hope that you can see it that way and you can get what I'm saying and that we can get on board with me sharing more of me, which is kind of scary. Cause if you, if you reply back in the comments, you're like, nah, Trina, I don't want that. I'm not interested in you and your life. <laughs> then that'll be really sad. But anyway, shall we continue tidying? Because I feel like I'm getting a little bit rambly and this room is still a mess. <laughs> So 
these these are what i used for dermaplaning they're these like face razor things don't do it at home guys there is a reason that people pay good money the packet even says dermaplaner it doesn't say face face razor or eyebrow razor it's a dermaplaner but still <laughs> learn from my mistake and do not do this at home now this is the problem <laughs> i have run out of coat hangers i when i sorted out my wardrobe i bought so many coat hangers and i was like this will be enough twice since have i had to buy more coat hangers and i refuse to do it again <laughs> but that means i don't have enough coat hangers for all the clothes i currently have and there's like clothes in the wash clothes that need to be hung up i think i need to do another wardrobe declutter i think we're getting to the time where i need to do another wardrobe declutter you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you want to see that because you did seem to enjoy the last one i did which was like in summer ages ago so if you want me to do that give this video a like and then i can like gauge your interest and if i get enough likes um that lets me know that you're gonna be interested in watching that i can do that for you because i think i think it's got to be done so i'm gonna do it no matter what it's just whether you want to whether you want to watch it so let me know oh. <laughs> i feel like this is not a flattering angle i'm like hi up there <laughs> sofa done see if i just showed you this bit <laughs> You'd think the room was tidy, but it's not. But my skin is feeling really, really soft and nice. So, you know, that's a bonus. <laughs> now on to the next <laughs> part of the room that needs sorting. I don't know what it is about my windowsill, but it just becomes a dumping ground. I end up leaving everything on here, which is <sighs> not good. I've got boxes upon boxes of things that I want to film with. Like this is... I won't show you because I don't want to spoil, but this is in preparation for my skincare favourite. So pop this aside. I've got one of the Glossy Box Mystery Boxes. I ordered three, so I'm waiting for the other two before I show you what's inside here. I've got an upcoming Look Fantastic Black Friday haul that I need to film for you. <laughs> I've got, what's this? Are these just empty boxes? Oh my goodness. This is for another video where I want to show you like a full face of my cheapest makeup. You'll have to let me know in the comments as I'm like sharing these ideas with you, which you like want to see the most so I know what to film next because there's a lot to film. <laughs> so it'll be good to know what like of these ideas that I'm sharing that you do actually want to see so I know what to like prioritise. I'm getting fed up now. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that I'm doing this on camera so that you guys can keep me motivated because I'm honestly like hitting a wall. Do you know what? I can show you what is inside this box. We can have a little break from cleaning and I'll show you what's inside this box. So I thought I'd really quickly show you what is inside this Team Fantastic Look Fantastic box so that I can put these products away and clear one of the boxes on my desk. So this is a collaboration with Living Proof, which is a hair brand that you've probably heard me talking about quite a lot that I really, really want to try some of their products, specifically the dry shampoo. This box costs £50 and I'll leave all the links down below in case you want to pick it up. But let me show you what's inside. Living Proof is a more pricey hair brand, so just to let you know about that in advance so yay we've got the dry shampoo this is the product that i was most looking forward to trying if my camera wants to zoom not zoom focus <laughs> so this is the perfect hair day dry shampoo this is the travel size you get 92 milliliters in here i have heard that this dry shampoo is amazing and i really struggle with greasy hair like this is second day hair and i've already got dry shampoo in it and it's already a mess so i'm very excited to give this a go i think this is like worth like 10 pounds and full size is like 20 pounds so it is a pricey dry shampoo but if it works for my hair I will buy it because I've tried so many dry shampoos and they just don't work very well for me Baptiste works the best but I'm not the biggest fan so I'm definitely looking for something to replace it so I'm looking forward to giving this a go 
You also get the full dry volume blast and this is going to give you instant and lasting volume and texture. So this is a styling and finishing spray and again this is 95 mils. Next we get a full size product. This is worth £33. This is the Perfect Hair Day Weightless Mask and it's going to leave your hair shiny, soft and manageable and it's silicone free. This has got 200 millilitres in so it is a really big size. Again not wanting to focus. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so I really like the sound of this because my hair gets greasy so quickly. Sometimes masks don't work out so well for me, but I love using them because I love the way my hair feels. So I love that this is a weightless mask. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be really good for my hair. It is color safe, which is great. So I'm very excited to give this a go. And then the last two products we get are from the Perfect Hair Day range again. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. You get 60 mils in these, so a travel size. Um, this is gonna make your hair feel clean for longer okay I feel like these products are like literally designed for me I don't want to fall in love with them because they're a little bit more pricey but honestly if I can find some products that mean I don't have to wash my hair every two days I will pay not anything but a good amount because you know it, drying hair takes so so long so I'm gonna give these a go and I'll report back let me know if you want me to do a video like telling you about these products but if you want to pick this up for yourself or as a nice Christmas present for someone I'll leave the link down below so now I can pop all this away I'm gonna have to do a wardrobe declutter this weekend, I think, so definitely let me know if you wanna see it. What was I saying? So, yeah, that just happened. <laughs> I was worried I was putting too much weight on, so I was like, feeling the pole to see if there was too much weight. I don't know what this angle is, I'm like. <laughs> and by doing that, I think I pushed it off. So I need to go sort that out. I think there's definitely a declutter coming this weekend now, especially, but I've not, I've nearly finished the room, but I really kind of need to go and sort that out. So <laughs> in Trina fashion, this has gone wonderfully. Hi, Adam. <laughs> I'm gonna sign off this video here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this mismatched muddle of a video. I'll see you tomorrow for something more structured. <laughs> Bye!